Hey everyone, it's Rami, and I just, I have this little idea that I figured I would just give a try. I've been wanting to do this for a long time, but I just never figured out how I would really try it, but I'm just going to give it a try and see if it works. So this is the um, Sound Blaster 16. This is the uh, CT1750 MCD. It's got all these CD-ROM connectors. Don't really need those. I already have a good... CD-ROM drive on the IDE in that system, but I'm gonna install this in my Pentium 3 and see if it works Just to get some ad-lib out of it. I've got some good DOS games on there as I've shown in my Pentium 3 Custom built system review that I have and those games are they run really well with like general MIDI wave sets from the Sound Blaster Live but this thing here uh, has the ad-lib and that's what I really want to hear in these games because that's sort of just what I grew up with and it's just my preferred sound. I know it's weird, I prefer ad-lib over MIDI, but that's just how it is. <laughs> so yeah, um, let's see if we can get this working. Alright, let's get this card installed. Pentium 3 here. This is like really tricky, installing this card. I really can't get it in that well. But if I just go here, it would fit right in between these, I think. All right, I dropped this card in here. I didn't do it on video because it was really difficult. I had to really like fight against these, uh, uh, you know, these connectors here. But uh, I got it in here and it's, yeah, looking good. It's ready to run. Hopefully it'll work. We'll see. Uh, I have an idea of, on how I'm going to initialize the card. Okay, so we're gonna take my SB16 files from the 486 folders and put them here. There we go. Hopefully that will, you know, I'm gonna tell it. We're gonna tell the auto exec to look for those. All right. To do this, you're gonna have to create a shortcut of your command prompt in the Windows System folder, System32, and then you're gonna have to go to Properties on that thing, hit Program, go down to Advanced, and then you'll get this. You just you need to hit MS DOS mode and specify a new MS DOS configuration. Then you can set your own auto exec that bad, and it's pretty freaking awesome. So you got to make sure that you have these in your auto exec that bad. Write them down if you don't if you don't know them. And also put this in your config.sys because it's good to have EMM386. You get your EMS memory. Let's hope this works when we reboot our system into DOS. Mm. Voodoo 3, baby. Let's get DOS compatibility, actually. Boom! Holy crap. Seriously? Let's just try Doom 2. Please. Oh, we got it. We got ad lib. No sound though. Damn. Let's see if I can fix that. All right. So let's see if I can fix it by doing this. Kind of weird, you know. I thought I already had these disabled. The parallel port was at IRQ seven, so. Let's see if that will work. Disable some IRQ ports, right? And get that working. That should work. I don't know. Because this was at IRQ 7 is, 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 you know. Oh, crap. Actually, you know what? I got to do one more thing. I got to change the jumpers on the card before I set it to IRQ 7 or else, you know. Yeah. So I'm going to do that real quick. Changing the jumpers on an SB16 is very simple. This works with all of the models of the 17 series that I know of. I'm sure it works with, like, you know, the others as well. I don't own any of those. But right now, I see it's set to IRQ5. For IRQ7, you just got to remove this, put it back where it belongs, like that, and then remove the bottom one. 
and just, you know, I recommend just putting like that, you know, just to, you know, keep it, keep the jumper there. And that's IRQ7. All right, so I got down in the ports and I, I changed the jumpers and stuff, so it should work, hopefully. I disabled the IRQ on the parallel port. Uh, let's see. And I changed it in the diagnose thing. So there you go, IRQ I7D1H5. Also, um, I need to add another line to the auto exec bat, just a mouse driver, you know, so that we can play our DOS games with the mouse. You know, I mean, it's kind of like essential for for DOS games. So yeah, I got my PS2 mouse going. Now let's try Doom 2. One of my favorites of all time. In fact, that probably is my number one favorite of all time. Oh yeah, there we go with the Adler, baby. Love that. We got our sound. Beautiful! I love it so much. Woo! Yeah! This is, yeah, this is uh, one of the greatest games ever made. Absolutely, without a doubt. All right, now I'm just gonna test and see if the Windows card still works, the SB Live, you know, Sound Blaster Live. Because you never know, you, when you get one card set up, you might ruin the other one. And that is not the case. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna run through a bunch of DOS games now. Um, I should note that I didn't get every single DOS game I want, you know, to work on here, but I did get a lot of really good ones, like that. I that was some of my favorites to work. There are some that are just too speed sensitive that won't work. Some some of them the the games will work and the music won't work. Some of them they just won't run at all. It just depends, you know. Some of them were just programmed differently, but let's just check out the ones that do run. And I would love to show how they sound with this new Sound Blaster I have. I mean, it's a real ad lib, so you probably already know how it's gonna sound. It's just gonna sound like a sound blaster. The way we all know and love. And I start with my favorite game. Love Doom 2. Wolfenstein 3D, just like that. And my gosh, this CRT that I'm using just looks incredible. Unbelievable how good this looks. This game is running at 70 frames per second. That's like crazy. But that's the speed Wolf 3D ran at back in the day if you had a really fast system. Here's a secret I never knew back in the day. Never knew, I never knew about that one actually.
song going on here, but um, I don't know. I just hear music. <laughs> I don't really know how to play this game, I'm just messing around. <laughs> but, you know, SimCity, <laughs> popular game. This is just good stuff. Dude, the building of a dynasty. The planet Arrakis. Anyway, let's just get to the game. Yeah, the intro alone is friggin' amazing. But the game itself is also pretty damn awesome. Yeah, just go. Let's just. I think I saw this guy's face on the DOSBox website. Anyway, yeah. Build this, yes. Oh, there isn't enough room. Reporting. Yes, sir. Out. I don't know how to play this yet. I, I still need to learn, but <laughs> it's one of the DOS games I didn't have as a kid. But uh, I hear that this is one of the best, and it's good to have it here because this has some good ass ad lib music. Yeah, the tracker music doesn't sound as good on the Pentium 3 as it does on the 486. It might just be the card I'm using, though. I'm very used to the CT1770, which sounds very, very much better on my 486, but still, I mean, better than nothing. And the resolution, uh, the, the the game runs at 70 frames per second, and at this weird ass resolution, but the CRT that I have handles it so nicely. I need to get a controller hooked up to this because that keyboard is not good for a platformer. <laughs> Floppy disks. Got the crystal caves as well. CRT does a good job of showing that overscan, which is a big part of the game, you know. And I have a real PC speaker in here, which really is good for this kind of game. And that's a wrap on this video. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I had a lot of fun doing this, and I'm so happy with the result. I actually have ad-lib coming out of my Pentium now. I can't believe it. It's crazy. I never thought I would actually hear the ad-lib coming out of here, but now I can play Wolf 3D and all that stuff. Also have that real PC speaker, you know, that's good. Had to fight with that connector at first and remove it to get the sound card in there, but they're both in here and working great now, and I'm happy with the result. It's just the greatest thing ever. Anyway... I hope you guys had a great DOS Ember. Be sure to check out all the other YouTubers making great content for DOS Ember because I really enjoyed it myself. And I hope you had a great holiday season. Take care, everyone.